Hello everyone, today we are back and in good old fashion we're starting the region with the Royal Monster. Of course, you know this is what I like to do. I think this is the biggest challenge up until now, fighting these Royal Monsters at the earliest you can fight them. So that is what I'm here to do today. So, my setup in this case, Brute Tigrex, which is actually our first subspecies, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty cool. I hope to get him. I love Brute Tigrex. But anyway, he's weak to water and slashing. Only weak to slashing, just like regular Tigrex. So, as this case, I decided to go with the Blasios Greatsword. Blasios is actually available in this area, which means you can get his Greatsword. Look at that water. And you can actually boost it to level 3 if you have enough materials. And you will have 100 attack. So, that is quite a, quite a lot. We're finally getting into triple digits. About time. I was also playing around with Tigrex well, with the hammer build, as you can see. Yeah, just playing around. Now, as I said before, Tigrex, Brute Tigrex is weak to water and slashing, so the rest doesn't really matter. I put two hunting horns in case I want to buff myself a bit, which is actually what I'll do. As for my talisman, I have the report talisman for synchronize. Because I'm going to do lots of double attacks. Brute Tigrex, he might not Oko you straight up, but he is quite powerful. He'll definitely tweet KO you. So you definitely want to abuse those double attacks. As for partner, uh, it's just there. Maybe maybe I can trigger it. If not, who cares? And rest in armor is because I don't really have an armor that I want to use here. So I just want to rest in armor. Gives me <coughs> apologies, gives me quite a bit of HP. As well as Dan Protector, which is what I want. You can actually get Dan Protector L at this point. So if you want, you can try that. But as for me, Dan Protector M should be enough. I also really like the HP boost. That means I become quite tankier in these rail fights with the rest in armor. As for my monsters, Brute Tigrex starts with power, unlike regular Tigrex, which starts with speed. So, since his power will start with Zinogar, as you can see, it is fifth up. <laughs> yeah, I just leveled her up to level 30. This is quite nice. Thunder Fist, heavy thunder damage, medium chance to inflict para, and synchronize, which is also pretty good in this case, as double attacks with Zinogar will hurt quite a lot. As for my technical, yep, he's still being used. <laughs> I feel like I make jokes. With the fact I'm still using Young Cut Boot <laughs> in every episode, but I mean, he's good. He gets the job done. I haven't really seen any technical monsters I want to use, so I'm just using Young Cut Boot. And plus, since we don't have Rathalos right now, those burns are amazing for when I use Salty Wound. As for Roberto, yes, he's our new partner. He has the Diablo's Great Sword and Roberto's Armor Reach. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, he's a great sword user, so you know he's blessed. <laughs> totally Wrath Hunter. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. But anyway, yeah, so it's pretty much a water setup with some Dent Protector. I really want to get Ruth Tigrex. I love this monster. Actually, oh, I didn't have it in my party, but I also have a Diablos. It's a cool monster, but. If Brute Grex is par, then that's what I'll go with. Anyway, let's see. So, as I said before, I definitely want to start with my Hunting Horn. I'm going to buff myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buff my attack quite a bit because, as I said, we can still tank his hits pretty well. So, I can afford to go for a charge ahead here and start getting boosted. Oh, by the way, my armor, yeah, it's not resting armor. I got the leg and the layered armor. Just in case you don't know, for you to craft layered armor, you need to craft the regular armor first. So, once you make leg and gear, you will have options to use the leg and the layered armor or purchase it. So, yeah, that's how layered armor works. Anyway, he's gonna start targeting my Zinogar, which is perfect. Because this means I can just... I'll just go for the legs. I can just double attack him. 
Roberto just charge tackles, so oh nice crit. So it begins becoming stacked. Yes, 700 is quite a lot. Alright, so it seems he's going for mm -hmm. he's going for a rock shooter now. I'll just take this as an opportunity to to get my charge tackle oops, to get my charge tackled in. Mm-hmm. Rock Shooter is annoying because you can't really double attack it, but you should still be fine, honestly. It does some damage, but it's not like ridiculous. I don't remember if it was Sleep going my Rider. He's resistant to fire, of course. I. Yeah, it took it goes longer, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill my Rider with my. my Racing Armor. In fact, quite sure. Run Slash. Yeah, Roberto does some good damage. Yeah, look at that shit. Four digits. I've only managed to do that once with my rider. Alright, now it's mad. Perfect, free damage. When he gets mad, he'll change to speed. So, as I said before, I'm gonna start by four technical hits. Now we're in technical. Just going for the legs. 545. He attacks twice, just like regular Tigrex. So definitely be aware of that. Just go for the technical attack. That's why it's so important to make sure you get double attacks on him. Because you can survive. Two hits, uh, one hit. You can survive two. Yeah, as you see, that is quite a ton. It's gonna break. Mm -hmm, perfect. You can double tap with Roberto as well, by the way, as you see there. Savage. Yes. 98. Doesn't do that much, but it decreases your defense. He doesn't have that much HP, as I said, he's not like the strongest realm monster you can face. But he's still quite challenging if you are not aware of how to deal with him. Dragon, perfect. Nice damage. And I break both parts. He should kill him. If he doesn't, then revert the will. And I also skip his turn. He's not in rage anymore. There we go. Please retreat. retreat. Please retreat. Please retreat. Perfect. Nice. Get some of his materials, uh, and I'll show his gear. Don't worry. Yeah, as I said before, he's not the strongest realm monster we've faced yet for the point of the game, but he's definitely manageable. I think he's the easiest. In fact, the Grex was pretty hard at the beginning. At the beginning, it was almost impossible. Oh, it's one of these. Alright, so I will just proceed with getting the egg and I will meet you at town. So I'll be right back. Perfect. We didn't get the rainbow egg. Or, uh, sorry, a gold egg. <laughs> rainbow is almost impossible from non rare dance, but we didn't get the rainbow egg. Unfortunate, but, uh, rainbow. I keep doing it. The gold egg. But hey, man. All good. There are worst things to happen in life. Let's go back to Lilithion. And here we are. <coughs> I'll probably replace regular Tigrex with this one. 
Tigrex, regular Tigrex is good, but um, I don't know, man. I get annoyed with Tigrex's attack that charge move. Sometimes it will use a charge move and it just misses, so I'd rather just use a guaranteed attack. Although I'm not quite sure what root Tigrex will have. Let's see. Oh, that's vicious, which is good. Let's see. For Tigrex, yeah, there's my Diablos, as I was mentioning. It's decent. Let's see. Where is he? Yeah, I'm leveling up a lot of my monsters for the Pedia. Yeah, that's the point. Let where I missed it. Must be around here. Yes. Yeah, I got a ton of Tigraxes. Vicious. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. That's what he used against us, right? Rock Shooter. Mm -hmm. Savage Roar. XL. Holy, deals medium non-elemental damage, high chance to knock down, ooh, that is sexy, oh my boy, Tigrex, I'm gonna have some fun with you, <laughs> anyway, let's see my, oh, not yet, just check my expeditions, now let's see what he has in store, in terms of gear, oh, where I'm going, I'm still not quite used to this town, Tigrex you, it's this, so, kind of looks like just a better version, in fact I don't know if it's better, Hammer Focus, this one might be worth it, I was using Hammer Focus S because of the Tigrex, the Tigrex armor and it barely procs, I think I saw it proc once, M might be better, I guess that's nice, I don't really use kinship skills that much, but it could work and fortify it, that's, that's not my plan, maybe in some other fights, but not now. Overall, eh. Man, gear, I'd probably still use regular Tigrex. Yeah, Hammer Focus S sucks in comparison to M, but you have Head Head Master Medium, which is so good. As for weapons, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any weapons, yeah. But oh, this is a good alternative to the Great Sword if you want. It has less 14 attack, 5 crit rate, but the bonus is the 15 sleep. So if you're trying to go for sleeps, go ahead. But sleep is something I prefer my Monty to have because if I'm using sleep, I want to use Sleep Seal Chaser with my hammer. So, eh. I mean, you can use it. Sleep is sleep. It's just I'd rather you use other stuff. This one's also decent. The Gendrum, yeah, that's the new Gendrum. Yeah, it's actually quite good. I like it. 14 para <sighs> with salt in wound. Holy. And yes, what I was saying. Oh, not this. I can actually do it now. Yeah, I got the like, Legendo plate from the, from the expedition, so man. I know they're good. <laughs> yeah, I remember. This. Yes, as you see, if you have enough materials, it's easy to max this thing out, but as you saw, it's really not needed. Brutic Rex is not really hard, to be honest. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, hopefully this helped, and I will catch you next time where we'll start exploring this region of Lamar. Anyway, see you next time. Peace.